we have more news on Super Nintendo World. Before we get started, watch this global kickoff presentation. Super Nintendo World is a life-size living video game. You're playing it and living the most exciting adventure. Like uh, Mushroom Kingdom, Peach's Castle, Bowser's Fortress, uh, Mario Kart, and many more. Now, that's pretty cool already, but still we wanted to make Super Nintendo World extra special. So we created a whole new level of play. We custom designed a wearable wristband, like this one, that we call the power-up band, and it's linked to a special smartphone app. The power-up band, like the one on my wrist, uh, will connect guests to dozens of iconic Nintendo items throughout the land in a truly seamless and innovative way. And then the app will keep track of their adventures and any items they earn along the way, like coins, stamps, and others. And there are many, many, many more items in the land to play with throughout the land. Many ways to, uh, to earn coins. As you saw, it will be filled with interactivity and play. It's truly one of the most innovative experiences we have ever created at Universal. And I can't wait for all of you to come and experience it for yourself. So in February, we will be holding a participation uh, type of large-scale promotion event in New York City, which is really the center of the world. So, and also today at this moment, the Super Nintendo music video will be released at the same time all over the world. Okay, I don't know about you, but I'm beyond excited. So yesterday, Nintendo and Universal Studios Japan revealed a new music video called We Are Born to Play for the upcoming Super Nintendo World. In the same trailer, we also got a brief glimpse of the wristband and app that will apparently redefine theme parks. The Mario-themed expansion to Universal Studios is shaping up to be one of the most interesting and tech-infused theme park attractions to date. Launching ahead of the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, at the Universal Studios Japan in the city of Osaka will feature wearable wristbands called power-up bands that will sync with a smartphone app rumored to be called the Super Nintendo Land app and track digital activities while you walk around. The bands will also allow guests to collect digital coins and compete against other attendees of the park. The chief creative officer of Universal Creative made this series of announcements at the park's global kickoff celebration where he called Super Nintendo World a life-size living video game. The mobile app will feature a game-style overhead map for finding attractions, and you'll be able to create a profile and unlock achievements. It's currently unclear why you'd collect coins beyond bragging rights, but you can imagine some form of unlockables or prizes can be bought with them, or some other Nintendo-themed rewards. It could also be some form of interactive component to rides or games you can play in the park. Osaka, Japan will get the first Super Nintendo Land, followed by the other Universal Parks in Hollywood, California and Orlando, Florida, as well as in Singapore. There's no set date for when the other lands will open. We don't know much else about the expansion besides confirmation that will indeed be a Mario Kart ride and a Yoshi ride. There's also rumors for the Toad House Cafe and the Mario Motors gift shop. I don't know about you, but this is going to be the best thing to ever happen to theme parks. While we wait for more information, subscribe and like this video for more of everything you daydream about. I'm Just In Time, see you real soon.